Let us now take another example based on possibilities. The given statements are all circles are squares and the second statement is some squares are rectangles. And the given conclusions are the first one here is all rectangles being squares is a possibility. So very clearly we can see that this given conclusion is in form of a possibility. That is we just need to check whether all rectangles can be squares or not. And the second conclusion here is can all circles be rectangles. The point to be understood here is this is like a question that can all circles be rectangles. This is not a direct conclusion but again it is a possibility. So here both the given conclusions are in the form of possibilities because the first conclusion directly says all rectangles being squares is a possibility and the second conclusion starts with the word can. So whenever we see that can all circles be rectangles, can all A's be B's that should be treated as a possibility. So again we need to check that can all circles be rectangles or not or all circles being rectangles is a possibility. So this is another way of giving you a possibility. As discussed earlier we just need to prove with at least one diagram that these given possibilities follow the given statements. Let us first try to understand the basic diagram for these statements. The first statement here is all circles are squares. So all circles are squares can be taken as shown here. And the second statement is some squares are rectangles. So some squares are rectangles can be taken as shown where these are the squares which are rectangles. Now the first conclusion here is all rectangles being squares is a possibility. Now if we try to take the second statement that is some squares are rectangles we can also draw rectangles in this form. We find that some of the squares are rectangles or we can say all the rectangles are inside squares. So sum of the squares that means these are the squares which are rectangles. So we find that all rectangles all the rectangles being squares is a possibility from the second diagram. So the first conclusion here is true. Let us now look at the second conclusion that is can all circles be rectangles. Here we need to check whether all the circles can be rectangles or not. Now if you go by the first statement all the circles are squares can be taken as shown. The second statement is some squares are rectangle that means these are the squares and we can take the rectangles in this form. Here we find that the given statements are followed in the diagram. We find that all the circles are squares and some of the squares are rectangle. These are the squares which are rectangles. So rectangles can be taken as in the green circle. Now if we try to look at the second conclusion can all circles be rectangles we find that all the circles are inside rectangles. So very clearly all the circles can be rectangles in one of the diagrams. So we can say that even the second conclusion is true. So even for this question the answer should be both conclusion number 1 and 2 are true. So both the given conclusions are possible in at least one of the diagrams.